What's up everybody and welcome to this tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to make a G-Funk whistle and a West Coast saw. Alright? So without further ado, let's get to it. First things first, what you wanna do, you wanna select your plugin. Uh, I'm gonna be using Silent One for this one because it has a lot of depth and it's straight to the point at the same time. And uh, But you can also use 3x oscillator which is a lot more simplistic. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna cover that maybe in another tutorial. For now, let's use Silent One. So this is the interface. As you can see, <clears throat> in order to make that uh, G-Funk whistle, you wanna go here to the wave. Um, and uh, yeah, yours is gonna be on a sine wave, a soul wave, okay? So you wanna turn that down and make it a sine wave. Then, you want to turn up the voices to around four. Okay, this way we're going to give it depth. All right, then you go, want to go down here and you want to select a filter. We're going to select a high pass filter. All right, um, <clears throat> don't mess with these, uh, it's nothing important. Um, next step, what you want to do is what you want to, uh, you want to activate the mon monophonic and legato mode all right and you want to turn up the portamento to around here to around this point okay so now what you hear is okay sounds cool sounds decent but it's not perfect and uh, what you want to do after this step is <clears throat> just look at my monitor okay look up here when I play when I play a note you will notice and you will see a clicky sound right at the beginning of the note and at the end of it okay you can even see it all right so that is super annoying and it has to go as soon as possible right so you have this tab this control panel right here and uh, <clears throat> you want to turn up the release to around 0 0.60 0.60 okay and you want to do the same thing for the attack all right now when i play it see it got rid of those clicking noises All right, and uh, it made it a lot smoother. Now you want to add um, a bit of reverb uh, to it. Okay, so you want to go here, activate the reverb. You can also do that from the mixer. All right, but you can go here and add the reverb. But I don't know. I prefer doing that for the plug from the plugin. Okay, so you want to turn down the sides a bit. You want to also turn down the pre delay and you want to hear it. Sounds decent. All right. And uh, you think you're done? Well, you're not done. Why? Because if you go, if you play this octave, for example, and you go higher. See? It, it, it goes louder and then uh, it scales down again so you don't want that to happen you want to keep it steady with the volume okay so you what you want to do is you want to go to the silent one you want to press control and then pr uh, click on the L and this way you're gonna send it to the mixer all right then if then you want to hold down the alt key and uh, the left arrow and you want to send down here so you have it on one all right so you want to click it and uh, you want to add a fruity parametric equalizer all right so here this is our frequency indicator and we can see where the volume is turned up obviously on the high octaves okay so what you want to do 
because we're playing high notes you don't need that low end okay so you want to move this to around here to around 2000 200 i'm sorry okay to around here and uh all right so for for next step you want to search for the frequency you want to be uh tuned down okay Okay, so this, all right, so we have our six here, and uh, you wanna go here, and you wanna turn this down to around 40, 14%, all right? And you wanna, no, more, more than that, a lot more, okay? To around 4%, okay? This way, we took down the frequency and it doesn't sound uh, so loud, okay? Now you want to search for other frequencies, okay? So you want to turn down the 7, in this case. Okay, so this loud, you want to turn down. This all sound loud. And if you need help with the volume, you can also look up here. Okay, so it sounds pretty decent. And uh, that's how you make a West Coast G-Funk whistle. All right? Pretty simple, isn't it? Okay, so now for the saw. All right, so what you want to do is obviously you want to pick up a plugin. Again, you can use again 3x oscillator, but I'm going to be using silent of one. And now for the saw part, you want to leave the way the wave as it is, voices as the, as they are. Uh, the filter type. Don't mess with it, leave it as a bypass filter. What you want to do is then you want to go down here, turn up the portamento, activate the legato mode, and you want to do the same thing uh, here at this panel because it's this, uh, you're still going to hear that clicky noise. the beginning uh, and at the end of the note so same thing as we did with the whistle okay so tune down the attack the attack should be around 30 40 okay and uh, as you can see it's pretty loud so you want to turn down the volume a bit. But this is up to you. If you want it loud, let it be. Okay. And uh, now you also want to add reverb because why not? It gives depth. All right. You want to turn down the size and the pre-delay. Uh, something fun you can uh, turn off the legato mode and you can actually play uh, chords but I don't prefer doing that so uh, yeah this is it how you make uh, a West Coast saw so you want to send this to the mixer right hit control and L as we say it then you want to control you want to hit alt and the left key left arrow key okay and you want to do the same thing open up a parametric equalizer 
and you want to search for frequencies which you don't want. You obviously want to take out the low end, right? Or if you want a bass sound, then you want to take down the high end. But in this case, we want the low end to go okay. And you want to scroll, you can also scroll down. Okay. You want to take this down. Sounds decent. All right. And uh, we're basically done. Uh, we, uh, we don't need to add reverb from here. Uh, because you already added reverb from the plugin in case you are wondering but you can also do that just make sure it doesn't overpowers the the actual instrument okay and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so thank you for watching my tutorial and uh, subscribe maybe if you want to see videos and tutorials similar to this one take care see ya